Well, these trees have all come out, man. You can tell it's the first day of spring. Ooh, yes, it is. It is very deep. In every one of these channels, it's deep. Wow, look at that. nice about fishing it's compatible with almost everything else that you do in a quiet part of nature yeah lots of menace lots of little fish lots of frogs some luck here. Definitely feels like swamp fishing. <laughs> there came <on. laughs> There's a whole bunch of fry. Little baby fishes right there. Probably can't see them because of the glare. But trust me, they're all in front of me. Thousands of them. fish are <laughs> but that's a good spot I've got the wind behind me it helps my casting at least not getting much sink out of these flies and I probably need to get down deep probably need to get down very deep all right here's the plan Jamo's gonna work this side I'm gonna go to the other side and work it the winds blowing right straight down the lake you're gonna use a fly rod you got to get this kind of wind behind you because it's windy one that's a good sign good deal Bet you catch more. Man, this water's clear, clear, clear. I think the bass might actually be off the beds already. Finished spawning. I don't see the typical spots where you would see their beds. Look like they've been covered over, not active anymore. Man, let's get busy. Weedless frog fly I tied up the other day. I can already tell I need to take off some of them legs. This is just the kind of fishing that I designed this frog fly for. It's got a weedless guard on it. It's got a weed guard on it that likely to work. It's a gamakachi, gamakachu hook. Show you this thing. See how that hard is? That thing works. I've had nothing but trouble with everything else that I've made weedless. That's working. Here's my first little bass on the froggy fly. <laughs> a little. That's a little better. That's a little better fish. Bringing up, up in the, the shallow weeds, man. That's a nice fish. On the froggy fly. There you go, JMO. <laughs> I just missed one. Let's see if there's another one in there. Maybe three in a row. Here we go. Come on. Come on, buddy. Let me check my fly. Looks like it's flying 
funny. Oh, these fish are shallow. There we go. Reloaded. Number five, maybe. Yeah, I've got that fish caught, but it's on the froggy fly. I caught him in the back. What the heck? How did this work? How in the world do I have this fish hooked? Oh, sure enough, snagged him. Snagged him on the back. <laughs> nice fish, huh? <laughs> Those are some sharp hooks on these things. Gama caught you, that's a sharp hook. Small fish, big weed. Well, there's no question they want this fly. They do not hesitate. That's a good design when they do that. A whole bunch of brim beds right here. Bunch of them. I didn't see them far enough back, but now that I know they're here near that bean tree, approach them a little differently. Nice little bass hanging out right where he should have been. Well, they just nail this thing. Wow, look at this whopper. Let me show you something. When a fish gets a lure in that deep, he wanted it. He thought it was real. That's a good fly. Another little fly, little fish on the froggy fly. There you go. I got. I was on that one a little faster. Weedless fly works great. See how much of this I can work. Just hitting these seams. Best I can. Oh, see that fish picked it up? I missed him. I went to turn the camera off. <laughs> Check my guard. It's in place. Straighten my tail out a little bit. This thing ought to work on crappie too. Probably need a black version for crappie. Blackbird might be the one to use all the time for all the fishes. Got one chasing it. There he comes again. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That is cool when they do that. That fish came and looked at it several times. Ran at it and then picked it up. Things working great. That fly works great. I think that wide gap hook and that weedless nature of it, man, it's working. Man, I need to pay attention a little closer. I was moving my feet and messing with the camera and I caught a fish. Nice little bass. I was pretty enthusiastic about picking it up. And he got it down deep. See what I mean? They want it, and they come get it. There we go. There's a nicer fish. Boy, he just came up and slurped it. He hit it hard. There you go. And like the rest of them, he took it deep. Took it deep on the froggy fly. It's like four in a row from right there. Wow. <laughs> this is crazy. These fish are really active now. I'm catching several. Right in the corner of the mouth. That's a well hooked fish. Sure wish they'd get their mama. Look at that one. Got him from the outside. Boom, there he is.
This may be, ooh, there goes something bigger out there. Look at him, on the froggy fly. And, like a lot of them, he was confident that was something to eat. When it just kind of snuck up on it, he was hanging out right at the edge of the weeds and took it down deep. I can tell you, that means a lot to me. I know what that means. That means they are confident that is something to eat. There he is. Oh, that's a nice fish here. That's a little better. Ah, oh, he ain't that big. I thought he was bigger than that. Saw him move, put the fly on him, and pow, there he is. Ooh, that fish is skinny. Look how skinny that fish is, man. Like a little female. Just spawned out. Well past sunset, but the fish were still biting. Stayed with them until I couldn't see. Man, this froggy fly works great. I got a couple of tweaks to make in the tying of it, but most part form and function it's good let's get back to the house <laughs>